breaking news. Many killed as gunmen opened fire on travelers in Jos. Some travelers have been shot dead in Jos, not local government area of Plateau State. Daily Trolls gathered that the victims were passing to Jos when they ran into gunmen who opened fire on their vehicles. The whereabouts of some of the victims were unknown as of the time of filling this report. Security sources told Daily Trust that at least 15 corpses have been deposited at the mug of Plateau Specialist Hospital. Muhammad Ibrahim, one of the passengers who escaped the attack, said that they were in a convoy of five 18 seater when the attackers struck. He said that they were returning from Bauchi State where they attended an event to commence, commemorate the Islamic New Year. Ibrahim said that the event had at Sheikh Dahuri Usman Bauchi Mosque in Bauchi State. We ran into the harmed gang at Gada Buri, the area of just not local government, he said. The spokesperson of the State Police Command, ASP, Oban Gabriel, told Daily Trust that security operatives had been deployed in the area. He, however, said that he did not have details of the incident and promised to call back as soon as, as information is available. When our correspondent visited the hospital, some of the victims were seen being treated while others were referred to just us university teaching hospital the state commissioner of police edward ebuka and the general officer commanding third armored division the secretary to the government of plateau state prof daladi atu were also at the hospital government of Plateau State Prof. Danladi Atu were present at the hospital. Thank you, viewers, for listening to this news. Can you imagine? Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We keep hearing bad, annoying, painful news every day about those ex men about these gunmen before you know it they target ex men and not before you know it sorry they target unknown gunmen and not unknown gunmen these people are full and ex men it's very sure because if they write ex men uh, 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 this year ex men <laughs> That means they would think, okay, people will start talking about President Momodu Buhari again not being competent. President Momodu Buhari promised that he will put a stop to the to its main activities, but nothing has been done. This is why, um, whenever any attack comes up, it's always. Gunmen, gunmen. Who are the gunmen? Are they not the, the ex-men? They had. It is obvious that they are the only ones that operates, or, or a, a, that operate in a devilish way. Yes, in a devilish manner. So ex-men are responsible for this. Buhari, we all know 
that any attack that is being um uh that is any attack that is being announced or recorded or being announced is from the Fulani X Men. You can imagine. You can imagine this. This is not fair. It's not fair at all. You should think of yourself. Didn't you remember just not? Didn't you remember they are may just not mayhem on the two thousand and eight on the twenty nine eight twenty nine November post election uh, genocide where thousands of Muslims were massacred. You can imagine. This book around, they don't even know how to say it's me. They don't even know the, the their people, their brothers, or their sisters anymore. Anybody they see, see is from the authority. They kill, they attack. They won't even ask you anymore. Are you a Muslim or a Christian? Are you a Fulani or non Fulani indigenous? They will not ask you. They will just, they will keep massacring, butchering the person without any uh, cause for questioning. You can imagine. What about Christians? They have also been killed. They have also been killing, killing uh, in Benue. The Southern Cardinal and presently now in Joss. Sometimes you people reason like sheep. You see what is going on because of money that has, uh, has been, have been used to shut your mouth. You don't even know the truth anymore. You don't even know what to say anymore. People keep keep being uh, keep keeping quiet, looking at sitting down, looking at your own family, the loved ones being killed, without mentioning or saying anything. But come now to expose these people because the money has been used to shut your mouth. This is not fair. It's not fair at all. These attacks are even more on the Christians and you are here sitting down doing nothing. What is really going on? I know that the, uh, uh, this, uh, what do you call this silence is uh, as, as a result of charming, a uh, result of charm, sorry to say. It's not. It's a result of greed. May God deliver every state in this country from evil. Some of us are, are, happy, uh, are happy because Muslims are attacked. While others are happy because Christians are also attacked. That is not what we should be happy about. We should keep praying for each other. We should keep praying. Are we not human beings? God created every one of us here in the country. Be it your family member, be it your friend, or someone you don't even know. You need to be sympathetic. You need to be sympathetic. You don't need to, to say, okay, because this person is not my family member, so I need to laugh at the person. Or because Muslims are killing Christians, and whenever Muslims kill Christians, or Fulani kill Muslims, you say, oh, that is good for them. Maybe they have been the one killing Christians. No. The same goes to Muslim as well. That is not it. The Bible says, love your neighbor as yourself. The Bible does not say, love Christians. Or love Muslim as yourself. Your neighbor can be Muslim, can be Christian, can be even a pagan. So that is it. So let's pray that this um, killings should be put a stop to in the country before it's too late. So viewers, what is your take on this?